Hey y'all, today we are continuing on with the Makeup Basics series and we are gonna be talking all about one of my favorite products, which is bronzer. Where to apply your bronzer, how to apply your bronzer, and how to achieve a few different effects with your bronzer. Stay tuned and let's get right into this video. What is bronzer for? Bronzer sometimes is mistaken for contour and sometimes there are products that can be used for both. Really is dependent on color. Contour colors will generally mimic the natural shadowing or or shading on our face. Bronzer color, on the other hand, is to add warmth, is to add almost color saturation to the skin. If you're unsure what bronzer color to look for, one thing I like to do is stand in front of a window with natural light, take a selfie, go into, like for iPhones, it's a basic feature, go in there, turn up the saturation from five, 10%, depending on how much bronze you want. That way you can see how your skin looks when it is been slightly more saturated saturated or it has a little bit of a tan. And that way you can kind of help you find your ideal bronzer color. The color I'm gonna be using is the shade Fair from Laura Geller. This is the Baked Bronze and Brighton. And I'm gonna be using a BK Beauty number 103. With bronzer, it is a product that is very easy to get out of hand with. So I like to use a fluffy brush and boop, a little bit right on the point of the brush. Tap off the excess. Where do we apply our bronzer? Bronzer is generally to add warmth to the skin. How does our skin achieve warmth? It achieves warmth when it is hit by the sunlight. So that means you would want to apply your bronzer where the sun naturally hits. When contouring, we apply it where our skin is in shadow. If we're looking here, imagine the sun is our light source. Here's our face, here's the sun. It's hitting anything that's coming from above. So that means down down here where our shadow is, where our contour is, the sun wouldn't be hitting that area. It's gonna be hitting above. So for our cheek, with my brush placement light, right over through here. A great trick is if you have a pair of sunglasses, you can put your sunglasses on and find the area around your sunglass lens. This is generally which is going to be an easy place because they're going to cover some of the lower points like their eyes. The eye and the orbital socket is generally receded. So you can go right on the top of the cheek, wrap into the forehead. There you go. See, a little bit of warmth added to the skin nothing crazy. Bronzer is for adding a suggestion of warmth to the skin and it's not really to change or alter our skin tone. So light hand, I always like to start at the back of the face just because that way most of the product is going to go into my hairline and there will be less of them going forward because wherever the brush touches first, you're gonna get the most deposit of product. So if I start my bronzer right on the apple of my cheek and I have too much product on, I'm gonna have an orangey spot on the front of my cheek, which we don't want. Whatever's left on my brush, I like to look right over my chin. And I like to hold my brush further back so that way the very point of the brush is only hitting on the parts that are projecting forward. So it's really only hitting right through here. Similarly, I'll almost place my elbow into my like rib cage area and angle out and then use my brush just to brush over the bridge of the nose. Now that I have less product on my brush, I'll wipe it off and then just blend those high point areas together. Something that can be a little contradictory to applying bronzer where the sun would hit is sometimes where we apply it on the neck. The sides of our neck, they tend to be a little bit darker since they are exposed to sun a little bit more. And this lower triangle portion of the neck is shaded by our jaw and our chin. So right through here, it can look a little lighter. So what you can do is take a very tiny amount of bronzer, go right through here, almost like shading in this little V shape right through here. It's also going to add a little bit like a warm shading, which can also create a little bit of a slimming effect. There, simple. I always just like to take a little bit right through here with whatever's left on my brush after I do that part of my neck, just to keep everything feeling a little more cohesive. Another great trick is you can go back in with your handy blending brush, which I think I've used in every step of the makeup so far, my BK Beauty A503. I'm gonna take this little point bronzer, and then I like to take the back end of the handle of my brush, hook over my eye, find where's the highest. So here on the highest point of my socket, right under the arch of my brow, is kind of where you would apply your highlight, Right here in the lowest portion is where you would apply your contour, or your shading color. So right in between here where it rounds out, I'm going to take very light hand with my little bit of bronzer and just go right through here. If you're thinking about some other YouTube tutorials, this is what people would refer to as your transition eyeshadow area. So the point that blends your 
high point or your highlight with your deepest crease tone or your contour shade. You are just going to add a little bit of warmth right through here. Very light hand, I like to go side to side and then very light hand, just gently whisk right over. And I like to end that right here in the very front of the brow. That can be a little tricky on this side. Find the lowest point with the handle of your brush right here where the round of the eye is. That's your socket. That's where your darkest contour shade would go. One minute, there's there's children playing outside. Okay, so right here under the arch of my brow where the brow bone ex protrudes the most, that's where our highlight's gonna go. Right in between here and here is where we're going to apply our bronzer color or your transitional tone. Very light hand, you don't want too much product. This is just going to help your eyeshadow look blend a little bit easier. And then I like to wipe my brush off on a microfiber and then just blend over one more time. There you go. And honestly, if you want to, you can leave your look here. Now that you've got a little bit of highlight, you've got your contour, your lids left open so you're having your natural shadow, and then you have that bronzer, you could throw on some mascara and call it a day. <laughs> bronzer is something that can get overcomplicated. It's a very simple, no-brainer step when you figure out how to use it for your skin tone, how to pick a color, how to apply it. It's so easy and it's one of those products that you'll just find yourself applying and then being like, did I apply bronzer? I hope that was helpful. I hope it was informative. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and share it with a friend. The next video is going to be about blush. Blush is one of my favorite things. So I am excited and I cannot wait to see you all there. Bye y'all.